Hello, trading has closed on February 2nd, 2018. My last calls that I was looking for a gap outside of yesterday's range. I said futures were down, and if they didn't recover, we had the potential for a real tank and an all day drop. I got uh, two emails about this. One person congratulated me on the call, and someone else said I missed it. So it just shows people hear what they want to hear. Anyway, we had this price target here. I said it would probably fail, and it did. We'll add that to the list. We get to scratch this one off the list from two weeks ago. Those with good memories or access to YouTube can see that back two weeks ago I gave this as a target and said that usually we undercut this level and ultimately we did. What I'd like to do is to go over the long-term picture first which I think is easier to call than the picture to call for Monday, which I think is going to depend upon how we open. Well, here's my wave count. I think it's pretty clear now the count was correct. I've been calling this a three-wave structure ever since um, really spring of 2016, two years. I've taken a lot of flack, and everyone's entitled to count waves the way they want to, but this is clearly a three-wave structure. Some people are calling this wave one. If so, where's the third sub-wave? I don't see it. If this is a five-wave structure, um, where's the third wave? It's supposed to be the longest. I don't see it. This is a, this is what a five-wave structure looks like to me. And we have perfect Fibonacci balance at the high, and I'm pretty confident this rally's over and we're going into wave gray C down. This was the other chart we showed a week ago. Kind of hard to believe that just a week ago today, we were hitting all-time highs. The market rallied all day Friday, and almost everybody thought um, we were just going to keep going up, almost everybody. I did think we would, I thought we were going to recover to this line, but I'm giving up on that. This is just too, too, too big of a break for me, and that one I don't think is going to work, and if it does, I don't care. It's still a top. I pretty much given up on the DeMarc stuff, it failed too many times, and as soon as I gave up on it, it gave a, gave a combo sell signal right at the top. The last three bars don't have to obey all the rules. That's good enough. So um, that's what happens when you give up on something. So I think it's pretty clear that we've topped out, it's pretty um, early to start predicting how long this drop is going to be, but this one for wave A took about a year. Wouldn't surprise me if wave C lasted about the same length of time. If there's a Fibonacci relationship between wave A and wave C, as there typically is, you can we have wave A here, and then take your Fibonacci ratios. This one is twice. This one is two times wave A, which I set to 38.2, and you can get a few Fibonacci targets. I like the Fibonacci target at 2023.10 for a number of reasons. First of all, this is a 61.8% retracement of the rally from 09. Make it a, this is 61.8 and that's 38.2. So that would be a 38.2% retracement at practically the same price. It would also retrace 
prices into the levels last seen in the spring of 2016. And if that were true, all the failed MJT targets I talked about would be hit at some point. We get about 650 targets a year. These are all the targets that failed in the two and a half years before March of 2016. So if we retrace to the levels of March of 2016, all the MJT targets essentially would print. It would make a nice pretty picture if it uh, happened. Well, what about tomorrow? That one's not so easy. We dropped all day long on the Friday. Almost always, when you drop all day long on the Friday, it continues into Monday's early trade. And if instead you gap up smartly, it tells you something else is going on. And um, higher prices are to be expected. Now, I don't know how we're going to open Monday, but Monday should be a day with an early low and a late high. It has a tendency to rally throughout the day, close near the high. Today was one of my turn dates. MJT does have these higher targets. Now, optional targets don't have to print, but they print the next trading a day 95% of the time. Ultimate targets until this last rally beginning in 2016 I would have about one failure every two to three years out of 150 targets a year and when you have an ultimate sell and ultimate buy signal in the same pattern these drops tend not to be sustainable even when a valid sell signal is given they tend to retrace it's not a requirement of the system, but it tends to happen. Frankly, I think looking for rallies when you're only a week away from a major top is not going to be the way to make money all year long. But if we gap up, I'm not saying we will, but if we gap up, these targets, far off as they seem, have a chance of printing. I think they will. It's possible to come up with a somewhat contorted wave count for an A, B, C from the high with a good ratio between A and C. Um, I think the count for wave A is pretty good and B is pretty good. Count for C looks a bit looks a bit strange to me even though it obeys all the rules and doesn't and has some good Fibonacci relationships so the call for Monday is we're in a we've made a major top and if um, if the normal happens, we should continue dropping at Monday's open. But if we gap up smartly, it tells you something else is going on. These are my targets, and don't forget, we usually get more than the minimum on the ultimate. And that's today's call.